Today we're going to be talking about the WinCC Certificate Manager, which is how you manage and distribute SSL certificates in your plant or industrial environment. We're going to create a local certificate authority and then issue certificates to the different computers on your network. I have my WinCC step-by-step -step project set up, which is enabled for Web UX. I have a self-signed certificate, which was generated with Web UX utility. And we look at this, and it's not really secure. It's not how we want to operate the plant. I'll bring up another computer over remote desktop, and you can see that I am connected to the same Web UX application, but it's not secure. HTTPS is read and crossed out because the certificate is invalid, and we want to fix this situation. So what we're going to do is bring up the certificate manager on our server and create a new certificate authority. Now, if you don't know what a certificate authority is, watch this video. I'll put it up and you can watch it from the end screen. We're going to fill out the information here for our certificate authority. Instead of Siemens Automation, I'll put in iQuest.automation. The organization is also going to be iQuest. And I am the developmental organization. And we are in Alpharetta in the state of Georgia. The country is the United States. And we're going to need to set a password. And there are certain requirements you have to meet on this. So you can look at the information here. I'll tell you exactly what the policy is. You're going to need to remember this password. Now there's a create button at the bottom. I can't get the dialog high enough to show you, so I'm just gonna hit create. And now we have a new certificate authority. So what we wanna do now is add nodes. That's your different computers. So your WinCC clients, Web UX clients. We'll right click and add device. The name of my computer is Bob's Dev. I'll just leave that. And I'll add my local IP address here and then just hit create. And then under this, I'm gonna right click. I'm going to add my Web UX Web Navigator certificate and it automatically fills out your organizational information. So we can just hit create. And then I'm gonna right click and add my OPC UA server certificate, my OPC UA tag import certificate, as well as my REST service certificate. And now since I'm on the local machine, I can right click and choose install all certificates and it will install these certificates locally. We can go to IIS and take a look at the bindings of our Web UX site. And you can see it's already using the SSL certificate that we just generated from our certificate authority. So that's good and it's taken care of. Now we are going to go back to the client node that's trying to access over Web UX, and we want to create certificates for this node as well. So I'll create a new node under my certificate authority, and I'll add device. The name of this is Bob's Dev SB2, and I will put in my IP address and just click create. I don't need to put a web server on this new node because it's not a web server, but I will put an OPC UA client certificate. Now, if I right click here, notice install all certificates is not there. I believe that's just because this is a client device and not the local machine. Now, what we need is for this client node to recognize our new certificate authority. So I'll right click on the authority and we will choose export CA certificate and it will export it in the DER format. I'll hit export and then save. And then we're going to open that file location in File Explorer. The CRL file is your revocation list. We don't need that. So I'm just going to copy the CR certificate. I'll right click and just choose copy. And then we will go over to the remote computer and I'm gonna access the desktop and just paste this file there. And we'll double click it so that we can install it. It shows the certificate and it does tell you that in order to trust this, we have to copy it into the Trusted Root Certification Authority Store. So we will hit Install Certificate and we'll choose Local Machine so all users can use it and hit Next. And then we will place it in the Trusted Root Cert Certification Authority and hit OK and hit Next and then Finish. And it should give you a success message. And we'll reopen Chrome go back to Bob's dev and just log in. Notice that we no longer have SSL errors. We can look at the connection, it is secure. The certificate does show our new CA, so we have effectively fixed this issue. You can use the same method to publish any certificates. So if you wanted these nodes to have access to REST data or something like that, you could just create these certificates and do this for every node on your plant network. And so now you can centrally manage all of the certificates in your plant.
Okay, guys, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something here, please consider subscribing to my channel, like this video, share it with your colleagues. That will help me keep bringing this awesome WinCC content to you. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.